Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for April 11th to the 17th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And I just wanted to bring up some important astrological dates coming up. Okay, so we got the solar eclipse on April 19th to the 20th. Okay, so you need to be aware of that because obviously that's why I'm talking about this because we're, it's, it's already affecting your guys. So it's, it's definitely, I've been noticing it through the signs I've done that yes, the solar eclipse is affecting the weekly. So it's gonna cause massive change. That's what solar eclipse, or that's what eclipse energy does. And then we got the Mercury retrograde coming up, which is April 21st to the 14th of May. Why do we need to know that? Because people from the past can come back into our lives. Okay, if we're talking about romance then, and also it, it can affect communication. Okay, so let's move into your reading. If you would like a um, live personal reading with me, um, I'm limiting these, but um, I am accepting live personal readings. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description a box below and also if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories you may want to check out my second youtube channel gwz mysteries and all the information is in the description box below if you say hi to me over there i say hi to you all right so pisces we're going to be looking at your day today your love interest feelings the block days and challenges and the overall outcome and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's get right in all right, what's gonna happen with my Pisces Romantic Love Life for April 11th to the 17th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords. We got the Four of Cups. We got the Three of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Swords. Three cards for your love interest feelings, the blockage for this week, Eight of Cups, and the overall outcome here. So remember, Pisces, this is going to be uh, April 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, okay? So feel free, come back, check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. Also, um, if the day-to-day -day is confusing, I'll just stick with me till the end. I'm gonna go over it, make it very clear cut, and also give you guys some advice. And again, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so what's going on with this Eight of Cups? It looks like someone's trying to get through to another person and the other person's not paying attention to them. It seems like there's an avoidance of the situation. There's a lot of emotions here, but it's like this one person in the situation just doesn't want to deal with their emotions. They don't want to deal with the situation, right? With the Eight of Cups energy. Eight of Cups can say, I want to walk away, okay? Uh, or this is also an emotional and avoidance card. I see this with personal readings, okay? So let's see what's going on. Why is that happening here? All right, why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Star card shows hopefulness of loyalty, devotion, or a friend. We see a house and a family. We see a fresh start, new opportunity. We see romance with a main person. Communication and concerns about communication ending and feeling stuck, okay. All right, uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, let's move this out of the way. However, we see on the 11th, you guys are getting communication here, okay? So there's a truth that's coming out with the Queen of Swords energy, okay? What is this truth? Let's use the Lenormand to clarify. All right, what's gonna happen my Pisces Romantic Love Life April 11th to the 17th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Truth is coming out about ending, stopping, completions, or taking a break. Okay, what's that about? What's gonna happen, my Pisces Romantic Love on April 11th to the 17th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Because of people socializing, okay, I want to talk with you about ending a situation when it comes to socializing or other people, okay. Socializing card, all right. 
choice being made. Okay, what's going to buy Pisces Romantic Love like April 11th to the 17th? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Let's get more information on this. Yeah, we, get, we see the socializing card. I need to take a break. I want to end. I want to take a break. I want to rest. Uh, I want to talk with you about socializing, going out, or people. Okay. My hands are tied in this situation. I feel like my hands are tied. I feel stuck. And I really have a lot of worries and concerns, okay? And I'm really cautious and defensive about the whole situation. But I really want to go the distance and I want to win this situation when it comes to these people. And I don't want to miss an opportunity with you because I do want to commit and engage your marriage. But I'm at crossroads about what to do. And I keep thinking and overanalyzing, and I keep um, thinking about how to fix this situation. So it looks like Three of Cups, you guys could be hanging out with some friends here on the 14th, having a good time, just in a joyful mood here. Uh, looks like there's a lot of playful energy around this. Um, because there's a sense of confusion going on with the Clouds card energy, and we see... We see the Wheel of Fortune is you feel very lucky, but on the same to token, you feel very confused. Also, could there, there could be more than one person involved or a friend is involved in the situation. Okay. I'm trying to find a creative solution to this. Okay. So far, we see people um, involved with the situation, family members, friends, okay, or more than one choice for some of you guys. I want to go the distance, but I keep thinking about how can I find a creative solution here? I feel like I'm walking the tightrope. And I need to see the bigger picture. So there's a lot of overanalyzing going on. Knight of Pentacles energy. What should I do? You know, I don't know what to do. I'm slow walking this. I need to take my time. I need to figure out before I take this action. And make a wise decision. Lily's card energy. Before I make any abrupt, sudden decisions. I have this victory in the now. I just want to enjoy the moment. I don't want to think about the present, the past, the future. Yep, that's the card. This avoidance card, I don't want to deal with anything. You know, I have dealt with, with individuals like this before where they, I'm not saying that's your energy, Pisces, but I'm saying I feel like it's your person that's saying, I don't know what I want to do. You know, I just want to live in the moment. You know, I don't want to focus on what's going to happen in the future. I just want to be in the now. Can we just be in the now kind of energy? That's what I feel like what's going on with the situation. Okay, it's like... You know, there's issues around this person. Uh, you want to have a commitment here, right? And you're like, all right, you know, this has been building here. And you're right, let's take this further. Let's, you know, start a family. Let's just do something here. We, we see there's, there's something that's potential here. We have a good time together and um, we go out. And you're wanting something a little bit more serious and your person's just like, I don't know if I'm ready to make that type of commitment i want i want to be with you i want to make that kind of commitment but it's kind of like they're kind of like still kind of like uh, just wanting to enjoy the moment and just being with you okay so we got nine of pentacles we have this sense of independence some of you guys want to spend some time alone on this day with the nine of pentacles energy there's a hopeful sign with the star card energy and we see going further possibly some of you guys are looking into new love or wanting new love here with the ace of cups energy but on the same token, you're, you're, you're wanting to be loyal to your heart and being committed to this person. So we see there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing here with the Four of Swords energy. Some plans, some thinking, some contemplation. And you're a bit at a crossroads about what to do. Um, I get the sense you guys are looking at your options here, but you have this one particular person you really want to be with. But this person's kind of like playing games a little bit. You're not sure if they're going to commit all the way here. And they're just talking about they want to enjoy the moment. You're trying to reach out. You're trying to get to them. Like, look, if you don't want to be with me, then, you know, I'm just going to move on here because I do have another choice here that I could go for. Um, but it looks like by the end of the week, there's an apology. There's a reconciliation between you and this person. And you have a victory here with the Six of Wands energy. So, okay, so we got people involve a situation i want to go the distance i want to win this situation i've been thinking about this how to find a creative solution and have a victory but there's this opportunity there's two offers here um and you're trying to be open about this and have this victory here six of wands energy i feel like you're trying to be real this person right you're like um 
I want to be with you. You know, I have this offer of new love here, but I want to be with you because, you know, you're the person I want to be with. Okay, so we see people involved in a situation, caution, defensive. Um, there's an indecision, crossroads. The timing is right. You have to make a decision about new love or to reconcile. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we see there's this apology, uh, excuse me, this um, spiritual confirmation. Very soon you got to make a decision. We see this letter, message, or document. I want to make the effort. Concerns about deception, lying, um, maybe not sharing all of your thoughts. We see about this other person. We see there's knowledge here about a relationship and trying to be patient. This person's like, I'm missing you, and we have regrets. I want to assert myself. We see money and finance and stress around this. Okay. Ending the stress and worry when it comes to this commitment and the sense of confusion because of long time. Trying to be hopeful, but at a, at a crossroads, you see? So it looks like there's a truth that's coming out about my, my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about it, but I don't want to miss this opportunity when it comes to this friendship, so I'm overanalyzing. I want to take an action here and have a sense of independence, be single and available to pursue, or there's a self-focus here, nine of pentacles energy, and I need to think about this, I need to plan this situation, I'm really thinking about what to do. Okay, let's talk about your love interest feelings. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the overall outcome. Whoever this love interest is, Pisces, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So they feel that you have, they're like a blessing to them because this is the Jupiter card. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is ruled by Jupiter. This represents blessings. Uh, this person's really been thinking about you very deeply and they see you as a potential love connection. Yeah, romance. Stuck energy main person stuck on main person um, they're hopeful they're massively shocked and surprised they really they want to break through here they've been thinking about you very deeply so whoever this person is they're interested okay so let's move this out of the way let's come back to this blockage eight of cups main person does this situation really make me happy? I'm trying to get through to them. I'm, they're avoiding this. You know, should I walk away? Okay. Let's look at the main overall theme here of what's going on this week. All right, so there's strong desire, strong temptations coming in with the devil card energy. You have this victory here, okay? Six of Wands energy. You're, you're getting attention. But you're confused about what to do. So why do I say that? I feel like you guys have this new situation that's come up for you guys. But you're dealing with a person who is not fully committing. Okay. And you're confused. You're trying to get through to this person. Um, you don't know what to do about it. Okay. So because there's this strong temptation, this strong desire here. Okay. We got the devil card energy. We see isolation, separation. We see loyalty and devotion. Doll card could be also be a friend to gain some kind of control. Okay. We see that there's this healing energy, tree card energy, and revealing some things, sun card energy, about people. So you do have people here, some kind of socializing. We see there's a lot of emotions that play with the fish card energy, but some delays and blockages here because of a lack of flexibility of someone here okay with the uh, this also can talk about jealousy this can talk about uh, another party this can talk about strong desires to overcome these delays and challenges and these emotions so it's like you're stuck and you feel like you know you have to make a sacrifice here because of this person from the past six of cups energy and you want to have this sense of accomplishment and completion here with the world card energy there seems to be some burdens and responsibility here and needing to make a decision so you're weighing your options to a pentacles energy. See? You have a choice to make this week. And it's to do with this person that you've already dealt with before and also a new person. So you're weighing your option, what should I do here? We see there's this family, family situation. You may have a child with this person. There's a sense of confusion. And we see that, should I be single and available to pursue? Should I separate from the separation? So should I separate from the separation? 
Should I separate from this situation? Delays and challenges uh, are causing uncertainty here that you want to bring into balance. We see there's a friendship. That's the friend. That's what I feel like here. You're getting a lot of chemistry and passion with this person and a lot of nurturing support here. Okay. So you're dealing, you're already dealing with, some of you guys are already dealing with a person you've known from before. Okay. And uh, this person is, I don't feel like they're like fully committing or there's issues around that. Okay. And they just want to enjoy the moment and they just want to be with you. You may even have a child with this person. Okay. For some of you guys, um, but you want to build something with this person. You feel like this person is not really trying to build something or you don't know where you really stand with them. Now this friendship has started here and there's a lot of chemistry and passion between you and this person. And uh, they're very nurturing and supportive. They give you a lot of great advice. But there's definitely a temptation to go there with this person and to just move on from this other person that's not really um, moving forward, trying to accomplish something in this connection. But you have strong feelings still to this person that you've already dealt with from before. So it's like you're trying to figure out what to do. So we see there's the, the person, obsessions, desires to heal the situation towards this opportunity, right? Key card energy. We see a commitment to trying to make the best decision here towards your happiness, yep. You may even have responsibilities with this person with the Ten of Wands energy for some of you guys. And it's part of the decision you're trying to weigh here with this Two of Pentacles energy. All right, so let me get you some in information here, Pisces, for your highest, best good. Can I have some information for my Pisces for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? For April 11th to the 17th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to all right so spirit is saying a sacrifice has to be made well you know you have to if you want to be with someone here listen to your intuition and we see this card right here can be like um, you catch more honey than you do with vinegar kind of energy um, listen to your intuition again it's saying take a risk be honest you have the expertise to make the best decision for you when it comes to your abundance. There's a gift being presented here of love and a sense of justice for you guys. You have more power than what you realize here. Don't let your ego get in the way. Fight for what you want, okay? And you can be patient to see how things play out here. We see you have plenty of time. And we see, be careful about overindulgence and reprisal around this. You have, um, you're more invincible than you realize. Be strong here, have the strength, courage, confidence, and really think about this situation. So give yourself some time to think about it. But what I always say is, the best decision is to follow your heart and listen to your intuition. If you're not completely happy with this situation with this person, what I would say to you is, because Spirit is saying you have time here. So give this person a couple months and say, okay, you know what, this is where I stand, you know? I want to take our relationship here. I want to fix these things that have been going wrong. Um, and I need, I need something to change here and give it like three to six months or give it three months or give it six months. If you feel like by the time those, those factors haven't changed, then you say, you know what? You come back to this person like, look, you know, we went over this. We tried to, to fix this situation. I tried to let you know, you know, where I stood and everything like that. And if they still continue to go down that road, then it's going to be up to you to say, okay, now I need to lay my line in the sand and now I just need to make this decision and move forward. Okay? Because I know we get comfortable in our situations and we just want to just stay. We don't want that. We just don't want to. Um, we feel like maybe it'll get better if we just, you know, deal with it long enough. But this situation, as you know, Pisces, you've been doing this for a while. So. There needs to be, sometimes there needs to be a shake up in order for something to change, right? In order for that person to realize, well, hey, look, I need to do something differently or I'm going to lose this individual. And sometimes, unfortunately, for people to change, there needs to be something that's going to happen to force them to change. So that's what my advice would be to you. Of course, you guys don't have to take my advice if you want to, okay? I'm only here as, as guidance. Listen to your heart, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to the signs. 
Um, spirit is always giving you signs all the time. Um, so, and you guys know what's best for you because you have free will, okay? I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. And uh, the next read I'm coming out with is the Solar Eclipse. And of course, you can also check out True Intentions, True Feelings, the monthlies for more information because this is only a little bit of uh, what's going to happen this month. You can check out the monthlies to get a lot more information. And if you're also interested in career and finance as well and what you need to know spiritually, you can also check out the monthlies for April. Um, and for the next two weeks, I do have astrology-based stuff in there as well. So, all right, my darlings, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.